Volvo Car Corporation aims for leadership within autonomous driving and is the first car manufacturer in the world to feature a self-parking car that interacts with other road users. Combining autonomous driving with detection and auto brake for other objects makes it possible for the car to interact safely with other cars and pedestrians in the parking lot. Speed and braking are adapted for a smooth integration in the parking environment. The concept shown by Volvo means that existing parking lots can be used and investments in infrastructure will be significantly lower. Entering the field of autonomous driving, the self-driving vehicle is the next giant leap for Volvo Car Corporation's development of the world's safest cars. Autonomous driving is a foundational part of our safety strategy and a key enabler for our Vision 2020, which is to have no fatalities or serious injuries in a Volvo car in the year 2020. There are so many advantages to autonomous driving, it's difficult to list them all. I would start with safety. I think after that, uh, environmental benefits coming from lower fuel consumption and less traffic congestion are key benefits, as well as, and perhaps most important, the convenience and freedom of being able to choose what you want to do with your time when you're behind the wheel. The self-parking car is a perfect example of the kind of technology which autonomous driving enables. Who wouldn't want a car which drops you at your doorstep and then goes off and parks itself? It's perfect. Volvo believes that the autonomous cars will need to coexist and interact with other vehicles and pedestrians. This interaction is one of the biggest challenges in the research and development of the system. But now Volvo is the first car manufacturer in the world to show a prototype self-parking car that interacts with other road users. I think the main advantage of autonomous parking is the added convenience of not having to park your vehicle by yourself and also that you can save time. So when you arrive at, at an, a parking lot, you leave your vehicle in a designated drop-off zone. And once all the criteria are fulfilled, you press the button to command the vehicle to park itself. Once the vehicle receives that command, it starts to navigate through the parking lot and searching for, for an empty parking space. Once an empty parking space is found, it parks there and automatically sends you a notification that your Volvo has been parked safely. And then when you need your vehicle once again, you send another command to your telephone saying that I want to pick my vehicle up. The vehicle then once again navigates through the parking lot to a designated pickup area where the driver once again gets into the vehicle and then drives off. I believe that the self-parking car is much more than just a vision. Volvo has already taken the first step towards the self-parking car by offering the Park Assist Pilot in the V40. And in the future, we will continue to take incremental steps towards a totally self-parking car. And I believe that that totally self-parking car might arrive sooner than you think. The autonomous parking concept is only one of several development projects in this field. As early as next year, Volvo will introduce scalable product architecture, simply called the SPAR platform. It's an architecture that's adapted for autonomous driving.